So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at creating a quick auto suggest input using the data list HTML element. So not many people are familiar with the data list element, but it provides a quick way for us to provide some options uh, to an input uh, just by creating some extra markup in your HTML. So let's take a look at how it works. So let's say we've got a, an input here where we're asking the user what their favorite programming language is. Uh, so they would normally type something in like so. Uh, but what we can do is provide them with some options that are filtered down uh, to what they're typing uh, based on the input they're putting in. So what we do to do this is create a new data list HTML element and put it alongside of the input uh, and then we fill it with some options. So uh, similar to a select box, we put uh, an option tag in here uh, with a value. So we could say JavaScript, for example. And then if we create a few more of these, so for example, PHP, Go, say HTML and CSS. And if we save that, you'll see there's actually no difference here. We're not getting any of those options in here if we start typing uh, JavaScript, for example. So we need to link the data list to the input. And the way we do that is by going to the data list uh, element and giving it an ID. So we could say languages is the ID of that data list. And then on our input element, we specify which list we want to use by using the list attribute and then just give it the ID of the uh, data list element that we created. So again, that will be languages. Now, if we go over to our page and click into the input box, you'll see we've got this list in there already. So you can just select one of the list uh, items from the data list. But also if you start typing, so if we type J, for example, it will filter the list down to anything that matches it. And it's quite a crude matching. I think it just matches anything in the string. Uh, so for example, if we were to type S, uh, we're going to match JavaScript and also CSS as well. But as a quick win, it's uh, really useful uh, just to provide some helpful options to the user. And of course, we haven't had to use any JavaScript to achieve this either. One thing you'll probably want to do with the input as well is just turn the autocomplete uh, off on the input. So autocomplete equals off. And that makes no difference to our input at the moment. It can cause problems in some browsers uh, if they're trying to autocomplete a field uh, and you've also provided with a data list as well. So uh, it's pretty well supported, the data list element, and most browsers should support it, apart from IE and uh, Firefox has got that issue with the autocomplete, so that's why it's worth doing it. But other than that, everything else should be okay. So there you go, that's the data list HTML element and how you can use it for an auto suggest for your inputs. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.